welcome friends with this question and answer session we will try to understand the concept of endotoxins bacterial endotoxin test and various regulatory requirements for bt analysis we will start with very basic question what is endotoxin endotoxins are toxic substances that are part of the outer membrane of certain types of bacteria they are primarily found in gram negative bacteria endotoxins are composed of lipopolysaccharides LPS is the commonly used short form for the lipopolysaccharides. These endotoxins are released when the bacterial cells dies or are disrupted or broken. E. coli, Salmonella and Pseudomonas aeruginosa are the few examples of the bacteria which contains endotoxins in their outer membrane. What is effect of bacterial endotoxins on human body? Bacterial endotoxins causes fever that is a rise in temperature or temperature increase that is also known by the pyrogenic reaction. Second effect is hypoglycemia which is lower glucose content and third is hypotension that is low blood pressure. Due to these reasons we have to control or minimize the endotoxin level in the pharmaceutical products. What is difference between endotoxin and exotoxins? You can refer below table for the difference between endotoxins and exotoxins. Endotoxins are present in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria and exotoxins are secreted by various types of bacteria. Chemically, endotoxins are lipopolysaccharides and exotoxins are proteinous substances. Endotoxins can trigger a general inflammatory response like fever, shock and other systematic effect. Whereas exotoxins can cause specific symptoms or damage at the site of infection. Coming to the most important question, what is LAL test? The Limulus amoebocyte lysate, that is LAL test, is a widely used and highly sensitive method for the detection and quantification of bacterial endotoxin. The test is based on the unique sensitivity of the blood of the horseshoe crab. You can refer the adjacent photograph of the processing of removal required blood or the required content from the horseshoe crab and after this required content removal these crabs are made free and no animals are killed or sacrificed during this process. Now we will see about the level of detection. The question is what is level of detection of endotoxins with LAL test. LAL test should be able to detect endotoxin levels as low as 0.03 endotoxin units that is EU per milliliter that is ml for some products this limit is defined in usp chapter number 85 titled as bacterial endotoxin test under the section titled sensitivity which are the important advantages of lal bt test here are the four major advantages of lal bt test are mentioned first is it took only about 60 minutes to complete second greater sensitivity and less variability. Third, this test is much less false positives, much less expensive also. And fourth is alternative to animal model and more cheaper test. Coming to the procedure for LAL test, question is what is procedure for LAL test? To perform the LAL test, a sample of a substance being tested for endotoxins is mixed with the reconstituted LAL reagent. If endotoxins are present in the sample, they will activate the amoebocytes leading to the formation of gel-like clot. Key test parameters are we need sample volume of 0.2 ml, incubation temperature is 37 degrees Celsius on water bath and incubation duration is 27 minutes. In this simple test, we need to add two things. First, samples being tested and reconstituted LAL reagent. In that test tube, we need to invert it at 180 degree and check the clot-like formation after 27 minutes of incubation. You can see the below photographs for understanding how the gel-like clot is formed if the test is positive, meaning that test sample is containing endotoxins. Can 0.2 micron filtration remove endotoxins? This one is very frequently asked question and the answer is a 0.2 micron filtration system is generally not effective at removing endotoxins. Endotoxins are composed of lipopolysaccharides that is LPS 
which are large molecules but the individual lps molecules are often smaller than 0.2 microns next question is which methods are commonly used to remove endotoxins the commonly used methods are given below first is ultra filtration this is an compulsory method for the wfi treatment or the wfi generation system ultra filtration membranes have pore size that are small enough to effectively remove endotoxins second is heat treatment that is both dry heat and moist heat can effectively remove endotoxins dry heat sterilization method is commonly used in depyrogenization tunnels and depyrogenization ovens third method is chemical inactivation in which we use hydrogen peroxide and other two methods are adsorption and chromatography now the very simple question explain the principle behind the gel clot method in bet the gel clot method relies on the formation of a gel when endotoxins react with lysate reagent that we have seen in the lal test gel formation indicates the presence of endotoxins and guidelines which is referred for this is usp chapter number 85 WFI or water for injection is the most commonly used vehicle for the sterile or injectable formulations. Question is what is endotoxin limit in WFI? Endotoxin limit for WFI is WFI at no more than 0.25 endotoxin units that is U per milliliters or ml. This limit is specified in USP chapter number 643 that is total organic carbon under the section titled as microbial enumeration tests next question how do you prepare a standard curve in the chromogenic method of bet chromogenic method relies on the color change that occurs when endotoxins activate the limulus amebocyte lysate enzyme a standard curve is prepared using a series of standard solutions with known endotoxin concentrations and their absorbance values are measured at a specific wavelength reference guideline usp chapter number 85 what is qualitative and quantitative test for bacterial endotoxins qualitative analysis involves determining the whether endotoxins are present in a sample it aims to answer the question that are endotoxins present in the sample or not whereas quantitative analysis is more deeper analysis in this test we do or this test involves the measuring the amount or concentration of endotoxins in a sample it provides a numerical value or the number to indicate how much endotoxins is present in the sample helping to assess its level of contamination which usp chapter talks about or guide about bacterial endotoxin test in the previous few answers you must have seen the answer of this question also answer is the united states pharmacopeia usp chapter that discusses the bacterial endotoxin test that is bet is usp chapter number 85 and the title of this chapter is bacterial endotoxin now we will see some regulatory aspects which regulatory authorities set guidelines for bet requirements in the pharmaceutical industry regulatory authorities like the fda in the united states and ema in europe set guidelines and enforce compliance with bet requirements pyrogens and endotoxins both the terms are used in pharma industry interchangeably but they are different question is explain the difference between pyrogens and endotoxins pyrogens are the substances that can cause fever when introduced in the body while endotoxins are the specific types of pyrogens derived from the bacterial cell walls this means all the endotoxins are pyrogens but pyrogens are maybe different than endotoxins reference guideline usp chapter number 85 one more test that is done along with the bet is bioburden test question is what is difference between and connection between bet and bioburden bioburden refers to the total number of microorganisms like bacteria fungi etc that can naturally be found in a raw materials on equipment and the manufacturing environment whereas bet that is bacterial endotoxin testing is specific test used to detect and quantify a type of toxins called endotoxin which is released by certain bacteria when they die so the connection is that both bioburden and bet testing concerned with the ensuring pharmaceutical products are safe from contamination 
and the last question is which are the method for bt test yeah clot method also known as limit test kinetic turbidometric method and end point chromomeric method are the methods for bt test keep watching farm grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry